Hey y'all, have you ever wondered if your Taxa Mantis is suitable for all four seasons? Well, that's what we're gonna find out in this video. Mantis experience. So this weekend, we are at Lake Mineral Wells State Park west of Fort Worth in Texas, and it's downright cold. Not even cold for Texas. It's just downright cold. It's currently 23 degrees. The wind chill is about 12 degrees, and it's only going to get colder as we progress through the weekend. So the reason for this video is to find out whether the Taxa Mantis is really a three season camper, or if it can actually uh, keep us warm and make it a full four season camper. So that's what we're gonna aim to do throughout this weekend. Um, it, it's it's really cold, uh, not gonna lie. You can see I've got gloves, ski jacket, toboggan, the whole deal, um, and, and we're just gonna see. So I've currently got the solo stove firing up right now to give us some warmth outside. The heat inside the Mantis is currently set at about 62 degrees. Uh, you can see I've got the top up on the Mantis. I'm prepared to pull it down later if need be when we're going to sleep to help keep that warmth in. But right now, the Mantis is holding pretty dang good um, from a heat perspective. Now, we have uh, winterized from the aspect of we've gotten all the water out of the 20 gallon fresh tank, the gray tank, the Truma system, all the water is out of that. So we've brought our own water in different jugs and uh, we'll, we'll just see how this, this works out throughout the weekend. It's currently Friday afternoon. We're planning to stay till Monday, 70% chance of snow on Sunday. So we're gonna see, I'll keep you guys posted as we progress through the weekend. All right, so it's about 8.35 at night. We are sitting here playing Go Fish. It is still in the low 20s. Um, the wind chill is in the low teens, if not into the single digits by now. We have actually closed the top of the Mantis. Uh, it felt a little bit drafty. Not terrible, but a little drafty. So we closed the top and we're now running the heat at 66 degrees and it actually just cut off and it feels nice and toasty. You can tell I've taken off the winter coat. He's got off his toboggan. I have no winter gloves. We're feeling pretty dang good right now. So I'm pretty impressed. Um, not going to lie. We're really comfortable and um, I'm a bit surprised. I, I expect it to be a little bit colder than, uh, than I actually am. So, so far, so good. I'm going to check back with you guys in the morning and see how we actually slept through the night because anybody who's actually tent camped on a really cold night knows how miserable that can be. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that uh, we're actually going to sleep quite well tonight. But again, I'll check back in the morning and we'll let you know. Hey, so good morning, everybody. Uh, we made it through our first night with some pretty cold weather in the uh, in the Mantis. Um, woke up this morning, the temperature was down around 16 degrees with a wind chill of three degrees. So I think last night, uh, I can't remember what we were last night, like 25 and 12 or something like that. And this morning, 16 and three. And I gotta say, I was quite surprised. We stayed warm the entire night. Like we did have a down comforter on, 
uh, you know, things of that nature. My, my kids were in their sleeping bags, but it's not like we had layers upon layers of clothing and blankets and everything else that we were trying to do to stay warm. The heat maintained, I think we had it set at like 68 or 70 throughout the night. Um, like I mentioned, we did pull down the top last night. I think that that was a big contributing factor um, that really played a part in, in keeping us so warm. But I, I heard uh, a few times throughout the night that the heat actually cut off, meaning we were up to temp. So all in all, um, I take this as a really good thing. Now, as I mentioned yesterday, the temperatures are continuing to plummet. Uh, I think we're expecting temperatures um, down towards like negative five degrees in the next 24 to 36 hours. Um, yeah, and this is just abnormal for Texas, but we're going to see, we're going to see how it goes. We're going to see, uh, how the mantis actually holds up so far. I'm incredibly encouraged. I'm not even concerned at all, even with the plummeting temps. Um, you know, I think you get to a point where, and maybe this is ignorant te Texan talking, I don't know, but um, yeah, you know, like, can you really tell a difference between 10 degrees and zero degrees? Uh, to me, it's just seems downright cold. So I don't know more to come. We'll keep you posted, uh, as we're going on. But like I said, day one day, or night one, big success, really excited. Um, cause this just opens up so many possibilities now that we know, um, you know, kind of where we can, where we can be comfortable within the mantis, because that's, that's one question that I know I've always had, like, can you actually tolerate it? Will it actually stay warm? Because, um, you know, it's one thing to go to Mineral Wells, Texas, where, which we love this place. It's beautiful. There's deer everywhere. Uh, it, it's a lot of fun, but you know, I'm more thinking long-term like, okay, could we go skiing? Uh, and just stay in the mantis, uh, you know, where it's downright cold in, in, uh, in Colorado or Utah or something like that. Um, anyways, it, it, this is more just evaluation of what we'll be able to do in the future. And so far, big thumbs up. I'm really pumped about it and, uh, looking forward to see how this, the rest of this weekend goes. So with that in mind, we'll keep you posted, uh, as the temperatures plummet, I'll keep showing the forecast. So you get an idea of the temperatures that we're dealing with and uh, let you know how we're feeling. Quiet, gotta be quiet. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. So this is what I love about having the mantis is it just gets us out, out in nature. And just kids get to be kids and they get to get dirty. My kid walked across a sheet of ice over water this morning, didn't actually know about it. Not gonna win father of the year, but he made it, he survived. He was pretty excited to tell me about it. It's just kids being kids. It's so much better than being cooped up at the house just an awesome experience so can't encourage you guys to go do this enough all right little change in plans the conditions are getting far worse um we're expecting a considerable amount of snow and ice and although i'm only about an hour from home uh the decision has been made that it's time for us to go home uh we're a little defeated by that. Uh, we felt like we really wanted to test the mantis and see how it would hold up against this weather. Even though we're going home, we're gonna continue testing this. We're gonna camp in the driveway for the next night, maybe two nights um, for sure. And we're just gonna see, can we actually stay warm? Uh, although we're not gonna be out in nature, the conditions are still gonna be there. Like I said earlier, we're going down to single digits and into uh, below zero temperatures. We're gonna camp at the house and we're gonna make the most of it. We'll keep you posted as we make it through this weekend and see just how well the Mantis fares against uh, this, this, uh, this kind of weather. So we're back at the house. As you can see, we're gonna camp in the driveway. It's still really cold. It's only getting colder. One upside to getting to come home was I got to test out my Bronco, make sure it's running all right. I've got a new motor 
and uh, just want to make sure it's running okay. There's a chance of snow tomorrow, and if so, we're going to drive the Bronco through some snow, maybe do some donuts, go find a place to do some sledding. I don't know. We'll keep you posted. We'll see what happens. But for now, we're going to focus on the Mantis and keep it warm and do what we got to do. We're going to camp tonight. I'm about to go light the solo stove in the backyard. And make sure that we have a good time tonight. Something to be said for camping at home. It has its perks. All right, so we are currently rocking about 32 degrees, so an increase from the last time. The wind chill is about 18 degrees right now. We are expecting some snow to start precipitating during the middle of the night. So we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, right now, the boys and I are sitting around the fire pit back there so we're having some fun we're gonna see how it goes like i said earlier in the video it is starting to get colder and colder and colder maybe snow tomorrow that'd be fun to wake up to so we're gonna see how it goes and uh we'll keep you posted i see snow i see snow i spy with small little eyes snow is there a lot yeah yes Hey y'all, so we woke up a little bit ago, second night of sleeping in the Mantis. Uh, the temperature when we woke up was about 13 degrees. The wind chill was at one. Um, and once again, we slept very comfortable throughout the entire night. Um, we had the temperature set at 68, 69 degrees. And uh, like the night before, it was, it was cozy. So I'm really impressed. You can see all of the snow that we've gotten here. Uh, We've been out sledding, having a bunch of fun at the house. So even though it wasn't ideal for us to come home, it's worked out pretty well in the end. We're having a ton of fun. Um, so more to come and uh, not sure if we're gonna sleep in it tonight. I think we've kind of proved the point, but uh, we'll keep you posted. I'm gonna keep running the heat just to keep it nice and warm and uh, we'll see what happens. So more to come or this might be the end of the video. I don't know, but uh, if it is the end, once again, really impressed with the ability of the mantis to maintain heat even in uh what's basically a zero degree wind chill um and only getting colder so we'll see hey for what it's worth um we're not in the mantis right now but i thought i would continue to add to the story as you can see there is plenty of snow on the ground all around you can see the car covered in snow and uh I just walked in the Mantis and it's still very warm. So I think I'm gonna call this a wrap and say the Mantis can handle just about anything you throw at it. Um, I'm gonna go take care of my kid because she's cold. But anyways, I thought I'd just throw that out there and uh, let you know. In summary, y'all, this, uh, this Mantis, I'm, I'm blown away by how well it's held up to the cold conditions how well the heat has maintained inside. Um, so all in all, two thumbs up. Uh, couldn't be more impressed with the overall ability of the Mantis and keeping us warm, uh, even in, in uh, you know, some pretty cold temps. So I'm looking forward to the ability to take this thing further, like Colorado, uh, maybe Utah at some point, uh, and get out in some cold temps up in the mountains and, uh, you know, be able to explore and, and still be comfortable in the Mantis. So thanks for watching the Mantis experience. Um, you know, if you have any comments or thoughts, let me know. And uh, we're going to keep trying to make some more videos on a more regular basis. I know I've said that before, but, uh, you know, life gets in the way sometimes. But again, thanks for watching the Mantis experience and our test of the cold weather with our Taxa Mantis. More to come. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.